Brando guess number five, four, three, two. Anyways, um, I'm gonna be playing the Stanley Parable, whatever that means. I've never played it before, so uh, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Apparently, it's a meta game, whatever that means. It's a game within a game within a game, kind of like Inception, but with video games. Yeah, and... like Inception. By the way, I'm here too, guys. Oh God, Josh, when did you get here? But, uh, yeah, it's kind of like Inception. It, like, it's super meta, but that's all he knows about it. I'm always getting him to play some weird games. It's like Rando Bros inside of Rando Bros inside of Rando yes, Bros. Like, this, exactly. this motherfucker just sneaks up on people. I didn't even know he's home. Oh, oh. Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building. Where he was shot at oh, yeah. oh, I didn't say the N-word. That was a lie. Yeah. I like black Where's people. Where's them shot, shots at, Enya? Enya. Yeah. Can we pause this so we can play an Enya song all the way through real quick? No. Come on. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month. It sucks for employee 427. Well, others might have been pushing buttons. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. As though he had been made exactly with this job. It's too. I don't want the thing to like pick up on it too much. And then right. one day, something, oh, no. No. something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. When he realized that not one single ever had arrived in the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company has Stop. this happened. This complete isolation. Before you get this game banned. Three seconds. Before you, before you get this video so, banned. The rule's three himself. seconds. You can Stanley play any three seconds of any song without... Just Breaking copyright for anybody's information. He got up from his desk. What was that dude's name? I mentioned you the other day. He's a real cool guy. Best in class. Best in class. He's a little weird for me, but I like him. He's popular. But I've been on his um his Discord a lot, and I'm getting emails saying that that he mentioned me in the flock. Whatever that means, I don't know what a flock the is. The flock is like oh. one of the channels on his Discord. Oh, can I push some buttons? Oh, oh what's going on here? You got to Lost it. Lost the. Can I eat it? I can't eat it. I just gotta. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, I'm glad uh, it's telling me where. Yeah, like, I, I saw the on. demo of this. I never saw the full version, so I don't know everything even. Okay. I guess the meeting room is the only way I can go, by the way. I'm horrible with PC games, as you guys already know. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Here. Did I? Did I really? Oh yeah, hold on. This shot's gonna tell me where I really are. Dink it. Sink it. Man, that Stolis is pretty good. I like it. You all right there? So you went through the door on the left still, actually. Yeah, that's what he told me to do. Yeah, I mean, but it's your choice. That's what he said I did, so I did it. This is the meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let it ball up inside of you. Take out passive aggressively on other workers. Oh, oh. that's you though. Too slow. That's <laughs> exactly what I do. I don't think it goes any further than that. I just fucking blow up on other people. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. Which one's you? Are you the little black girl? I am the little black girl. That's why I was going to point to it, but there's no <laughs> cursor. Number of slides on this slide. Charts charts and slides and slides. 
There's no number. To do list. Well, oh, oh. Synergize core expenditure, shift to gold market, Harad, and monetize free to play. What? Oh, that's that's called micro trans transactions. F everybody in the A. No, oh, that's that. when you demonetize Ooh. free to play. They're what? trying to monetize to make things free to play. I don't know if that's how that works. You free to play plus money equals monetize free to play. Demonetize free to play is take out microtransactions and just let people play for free. No, demonetize. Yeah, demonetizing free to play would take away free to play. Stanley just stood there doing nothing at all. Oh. He seems to think I have nothing better to do with my time than yeah. to sit around and decide <laughs> every fascinating okay, Stanley. of his inability to... Fuck is this anything. voice coming from? First of all, you know what, secondly, good terms. you know what this reminds me of is uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe. The five-part book that was... Oh. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah, we'll go upstairs this time. We'll, we'll follow him. We'll see what's going on. Can't go wrong with listening to the guy narrating. Boss's office. I imagine it's the one with the gold. Oh, no, it's not. That's okay. old boss office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret PIN number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, this is getting oh. weird. This is getting real weird. Yeah. This is definitely Guardians of the Galaxy. Or no. Oh, uh, you're... Sorry. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Can I hit Guardians the of the Galaxy. I know, it's all, it's, it's all the same when you've had a couple shots. It really is my favorite book, though. It's, it's a killer. If you haven't read it, read it. Read it. Read it. The movie sucks. It's actually a good movie until you read the book and you're like, what? They left out like 800 million billion They always do. It's worse than the Lord of the Rings movies versus the books. Because, like, the Lord of the Rings movies stopped in different parts. Like, they didn't tell the whole story. It was weird. But for years, it has never occurred to me. This question would not go unanswered for long. It's a, and, you know, I don't believe that, but you know what? Questions are not. You didn't have them until Daddy now. Walked straight ahead through the large door the red the mind, mind control, control facility. facility. Well, you know what? I'm gonna hit this button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did like that machine in the X-Men? Mm -hmm. oh. What was it called? Uh, Zebrio? Nebrio? The Cerebro? Cerebro! From the X-Men. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, uh, Stanley's uh, co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Well, that's not true. I mean, yeah, I had the freedom to come here. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. This mind control facility, Five. it was too horrible to believe. What it was my number control. two what? Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Two, that his four, emotions seven, had been seven, manipulated to accept it blindly? Two, four, seven, eight. Eight. Two, four, nine. Oh, 
while I'm down here. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. No. Huh? He refused to believe it. Um, he yes, I knew it. it. His own life in someone else's control. Never. It was unthinkable. Never. Wasn't it? Was it even Patty. possible? Had he truly spent his entire life <laughs> utterly blind to the world? Oh, there's so much going on right now. Oh. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Dismantle the controls? Well, I don't know how to do that. I don't know either. There we go. We'll go to this big controls. thing in the middle. Is that controls? Console disabled. Oh, okay. No, 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 that. Everything's oh. all fine. Well, what do I got to worry about? I go to the go power facility. facility. Power facility. Power. Facility, power, power facility. Facility, oh. power. For power. Power facility. Oh. Is that weird shit down there? Hold on. Looks dangerous. Uh, yeah. It's red. You don't want to go where it's red because it's, it's red. Here we go. My controls are idle. Waiting input. Here's the thing. So what if I'm the guy that's... And when at last he found the source of the room's power... Oh, I'm cutting it off. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? I'm the guy I'm controlling it. enslaved all these years. You go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, duh. Yeah. Stanley. I mean, after being controlled for so long, wouldn't you want to be in control? There's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to. How do can you say that? that? I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Oh. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, oh, come on. detonators are set to explode. You're just making crap the up. Entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say two minutes. Just making it up, oh, man. Just making it up. Stanley, it's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story. Look, there's a big clock back it there counting down. Desires. Oh, this yeah, is much it. better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious rewards each one of them is. More time to So, where to now? What all this means, I barely know where to start. Oh, oh out the door. What's that? Mm -hmm. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Oh, oh right. ah. I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. This guy's a butthole. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside. Push for. I have to say this. Though. Correct. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you. It's quite uh, rich. And uh, must keep to see it go. I want to see what happens when on the armor. Come up with on the next go around. I want to as well. One, two. Better. My goodness. Three's and over there. Four's up top. Five's up, five's up there. That's you know, five's over here. I'm going to put some extra so, time on the clock. Why not? These are one. precious additional seconds now. Time doesn't grow. See, he just put extra time on the clock. You can't do that. He's a butthole. He does what he wants. Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Three, three, four's up top. That something in this room was capable of turning it off. I mean, look at you. 
running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this I'm room. I'm clicking on every little thing. No, these colored buttons, or maybe this big More. red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Super, super confusing. That this video game can be beaten. It's a video game? Oh my god, he just broke the fifth wall. Because I knew it was a video game, but he didn't. You're in for quite a disappointment. Just five. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. Uh, it's just seconds ticking away to you. Okay. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene. There's so many blues and reds and triangles and the sea you made home screens and that's ten. Hold up. It's a tragedy. You uh, wanted to control oh, this one. Oh, that one's so oh. four two seven. Take a look at the clock, Sam. That was That's it. 30 seconds you have left to strike. There's no seven. No end. Just you and me. Goodbye, employee 427. I thought it was 247. We're going to go peacefully. Another choice. Make it count. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Uh, and believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life. From the buttons pressing in. Until the moment I say, happy and rough. Alright, so Whoa. first run through completely did not make it. But if I know anything about anything, that wasn't the, the end. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. So. I'm just gonna start back where I was and it's gonna be completely different than it was. Me, I didn't start at my desk looking at my desk, so what up? Computer. Go. Huh? computer was flashed. Oh, I can't. Your computer was All flashing. All these co-workers were gone. What could it mean? So Standing four, two, seven. go to the meeting room. Perhaps he'll simply miss a memo. So we're going to try this again. We're not trying it again. It's the same run through. I didn't die. Nothing ended. I'm going to the right Stanley this time. To a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. And Stanley knew perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, so we'll go to the employee uh, lounge. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Did they just say cold Stanley drinks? Or... It's, it's fucking trash, yeah. yeah. It's fucking trashed. I hate this place. Bunch of assholes. Oh, let's make it look real by putting trash all over the floor. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Did he? No, I didn't. I'm not not this guy that. at all. I don't ever. believe Stanley, Stanley so did that. Following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. <laughs> if you're lying right now, you better stop it. I'll drink to that. Go up and be like, hey, you, stop lying. I'm lying. I'm so sorry. I've been lying all this time. I just don't even know what to do. Uh oh. Stop lying. Hey, I stopped lying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to go this way. Uh, do not jump from the car. <laughs> I like the dude. He's like, ah. Okay, so if I... Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, 1000 bucks. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, 5000 bucks. If I bucks. put some crap on and I'm not supposed to, it cost me 1000 bucks. But if I... Jump. Jump off of it. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not sure. I'm doing it. $5,000. Damn it. Of the story and I'm trying to land on the van. To do. Hopefully Still it wouldn't kill me. I don't know if that would work. Change to his death. Good job, I saw light Anyone from the job, outside. Right? I just wanted to leave. I knew. I know what's happening. All right. So I'm gonna do what I did last time. Do ba do ba do. Whoa 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 whoa, whoa 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 whoa. This is completely different. Perhaps he had simply. Oh, I hate this game already. It's no. Oh. Oh, you just started there. Okay, we're back here. Open. So I uh, just go he and do. Go and do the, the normal. Left. Just follow what he's doing. At follow least, what he tells you. See? 
See what happens. We did that the first time, right? No, because you click yeah, on instead of off for the thing. Oh, okay. My way of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, so many options. Stanley it's like a fucking to his boss's office. Choose your own adventure story. Yeah, but in video game style, and you know, nobody wins. I want that Stepping office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned uh, to discover zero, two, not four, an five? indication of any human. It's life. gonna be different. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known. Same thing. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I guess I'll hit the red button. Cigarettes are cool, kids. Everybody smokes cigarettes. I'm about to. Brando Bros does not condone cigarette smoking. Damn it. If only they did. Then they'd make a million dollars from Philip Morris and R.J. Reynolds and... Lorillard. Lorillard. But they don't condone cigarette smoking. Don't do it, kids. That's, that's just not. some bullshit. I was just playing. Smoke a damn cigarette. Hopefully you heard that. Hopefully you didn't. Wubba dubba ASD. Hopefully you didn't not hear it. Wubba lubba ebba lubba do. Alright. Wubba lubba mind control. But you can jump for no reason. I just want to jump. Here right. I yeah, no, I can see that. This, yeah, I don't like this because there's only one place to go. And that's the but. lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horror I'm 427. Right? 427. Alright, we're going to find 427 when it pops up. To find out. But it'll wait for me to cut the cameras on. Got to have some cameras. They're over here. Bam. Now the monitor's jumping. Change the camera. The number of an that's me. Look, that's my desk. Yep. Dead ass the middle. Lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place. Where I'm ashamed of myself. Nothing. But I'm gonna keep going anyway. So where is everybody? Nobody cares where everybody is. I just. Want I to care. Get the fuck out of here. I wanted to stop. I'm trying to get out of here. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it could be There I am true. again. And Stanley really someone's control all this time. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Or well, that duh. his emotions had been manipulated you to ever had a job before, Stanley? Nobody likes their job. No. Why would and you, why would you even be happy having a job? Accept it. His own life in some way never. It was unfair. Oh, those says pirate. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? It said pirate. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? So. Yes. Yes, what, he has. What Josh just realized for the first time was ever proof, the heart of the was that he's an employee of this company. Ah. Emotions, happy or sad. Oh, Parati. Walking, He's actually been branded, walking, if, all if nobody knows this, this um, as a pirate. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stan right, decided to Mind control's idle, waiting in, but... Alright, so click off this time. It's already off! Did I win? Game over! You won! Alright! Yeah, I'll tell you one. I have the rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? No. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. All right. He shackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was 
mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? I mean, did he? other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight... Yeah, don't walk in the darkness, man. Nah. ...he realized none of this... Yeah. I'm just waiting on the or door to... Was not knowledge or ...slowly open. He had oh, oh, it goes all the way down. Happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand. I hope this isn't an office building thing. Oh my god. This is getting perhaps the only thing worth moving. Way too much. Stepped through the open door. I don't know what to do now. Let's go. I'm very scared. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. To beat the game. Very upset. Alright, All right, so now I gotta do it a different way. Hey, hey. What? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came Take the right to the of two open doors, oh. he entered the So what are you going to do? Hit the on and try and figure out what goes on this time? No, I'm going to go down yes, instead of up. Not a single oh. person here either. Feeling a wave Don't get fired. of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his oh, boss's God. office, hoping he might find another woman there. Wait. Coming to a staircase. Wait, I said you were going to go down. To his boss's office. That is the only option. I'm totally going down now. God dang. I hate PC games. Wish this was in VR. I'd be walking around your place in circles. Basement. All right. Yeah. Oh, 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 all right. <laughs> but Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed why, Stanley? everyone had been. Why have you taken this his risk? His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers <sighs> blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Oh my and Lord. for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! <laughs> this is all a dream. Oh, oh, God. oh you're caught. He finally found Luke. an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. Stanley Parable. He wasn't going to lose his job. He Luke wasn't it, crazy yeah. after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wait up soon. <laughs> go <laughs> I, I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And yes. Oh man! It was yes. So much fun, and Stanley marvelled Super cool. that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. 
I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. See? Matter. And when he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the boy speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Wake up, 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 wake up. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. Let's it's all push I want. buttons. I want my apartment. I want and to push wife, buttons. And my job. I want my buttons. All I want to is push. my life exactly so the I can way push things them. be. I my just, life is normal. I just want buttons. I am normal. Everything I am buttons. Fine. I shall push myself. I am. I okay. am buttons. So, me and Josh have a boss that's so ridiculously hell bent. Someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. Oh, oh I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please On us being at work tomorrow, and it's snowing. It's snowing for the next two days. This guy wants us at work so bad, he's posted the dang dog. Oh, Lord. He's posted the snowplow routes. This is the story. For Virginia, oh, where we're yeah. from. Hey, Jeff did? Virginia. Yep. Mary what? Up on a day like any other. To make sure we know when we need to be at work because we have to be at work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man. Doesn't who really show you snowplow routes too well, does it? To himself, and then collapsed dead I think on the there's like a guy. And though she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This oh, she God. Knew. Oh, my God. Crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The Seeing a guy down on the, impressions of her the was sidewalk a dead and made her feel better. The rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Why is her Facebook so slow? It's not Facebook, it's the internet. It's like a janky ass page. So, oh. that was that route. Don't do that again. Um, we're gonna try a different one this time. Do you wanna try one this time? That was way with you. Yeah, I'll take it. No, I'm just trying to make sure my boss knows I'm not gonna be at work tomorrow because it's snowing. Even though I'm supposed to open. Alright, so I'm... Well, still, for you, that's the first. When Stanley came to a set of two... Well, I'm going to take the left door. He the door on his left. And... Yet, there was not a single person here, either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go, go. to his boss's office. Uh, I'm gonna go to the very like end thing where you press the buttons, but I'm gonna click on, and I'm gonna see if I can't find a way to figure something out here. 
Either way, it's going to end the same way all the time. Every the time. moment he entered his manager's so office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Two, Could he eight, maybe be four, five. Enough? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some common new age music. Have to work at all if, you, if there's no... I relax if your job is actually no longer a job for long, you should not be able to work. I mean, you should not be... Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked oh, forward okay. into the opened passageway. Alright, so our boss posted a, a website to tell us when the the, the snow plows are going to come by our house. The snow plow. And I texted him and I said, hey, the website's all janky and not working. And he replied with, I think it has to snow first. What? What? I'm not going to be at work tomorrow. Sorry, bud. Just send him pictures of your road. I'm going to send him pictures of my tank. Mind control He's like, damn. Give him pictures of your grundle. He said, I think it has to snow first. I said, then how does that help at all? It's already snowing. What horrible secret did this place I'm not going to be at work tomorrow. Did he have the strength? Oh, it's even unlocked. You can't jump. It's called you can't jump. Well, duh. Is there a jump button? Because I've been pressing space. That's, that's what I was trying to do, and I just sat there and tapped it and tapped it and tapped it until I got that achievement. You're the worst. Because I tried to jump like five times, and I was like, all right, I get my own. Reduced to images on the screen, and Stanley, one of them, it turned out in this place with freedom. What do you say? So when the trucks are working, you can see where they are, and apparently we'll give you an ETA on when they do your road. I would imagine they have to see how bad the storm is before they can give. Oh, estimate. dude, sucks for him because my road is like one of the last roads that ever gets plowed. We're both on third dairy, not secondary, third dairy. I don't know what that means. Third, third, like third play, like third whatever roads. Not secondary, less than control facility. We both live at the end of state maintenance roads. Yeah. So, like, at the very end of our roads, there's some roads still left over that the state will not apply for access to, so they don't apply, and they don't plow. No, he refused to so, that's the last well, like, spot we, they we worry about. See, pirate. Oh, God. Pirate. 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 It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Why doesn't the, the, the narrator, like, he say said, anything about pirates? We'll see how it works tomorrow. Better than nothing. I said, sure. With emotions. Sure. Or sad. Uh, this dude is from, like, Richmond, Virginia. He spent most of his life in northern Virginia, where... When it snows, they've got mad plows all over the place because the Stanley capital's up there for the whole United States of America. Again um, power over he really doesn't know how it works here. For he would dismantle the controls At all. Once and He's about to get a rude awakening when it snows tomorrow and I don't show up to work. Alright, so you can duck. Okay, console. I get paid too much to go to work when it snows. Alright. Facility power. See if. All right, here's your button. Wait. All right, look at all the buttons in the room, cause there's color coded ones. There's yeah, I know. Different ones that do different things. See all those light up. Tens, 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 tens. Triangles. <sighs> I'm thinking like zero one four two or zero five two one. But there's no zero button. Okay. I don't think. At least I okay. haven't seen a zero. Don't fuck with the zeros. Just fast you are. I have not. I haven't seen a zero. 
You might not be able to do anything in here until you hit the on or off button. Well, no, I just want to... Oh, what is that? Ooh, a big red shiny button. I would hit the off button and then come back and hit the big red shiny one. You mean the on one? That's the only one I didn't do. No, you hit off. Because when... Well, on, yeah. Because if you hit off, you just walk the thing. Hit off. What last he found hit on. on. Yeah. Power. power. Control. Understanding. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? The yes, I did. How did they get you enslaved the all red these red years ago when you tried to take control of the machine for yourself? Is that what you wanted? Control? Alright. Big. Oh, red. Shiny button. Nothing. No. But you need to understand. There's right. only so right. much so. that machine can do. You were supposed ah. to make it. One is, is so four two four one one, one four two. Is that what he's saying? If you want to throw my story off track, you'll then have to do much better. There's seven. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, one. and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley four, suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation four, system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. Eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation will do? Now come on, you don't give me a whole nuclear explosion for one facility. This is getting a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape to your heart's desires. Let us go, to you. Much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy. Start out with moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me. See, and then it goes good. So you start with that one. What's that? So it should be like two, 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 two. Yeah. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. So four. Alright, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. Oh. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Try four again. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, uh, this version of the events has been rather amusing. You can't hit it multiple Watch times to make things. things. And take back the control wrested away from you. It's quite rich. I almost hate to say go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds now. Time to go around on trees. Oh dear me, the what's the matter, Stanley? Yeah, I'm Is it going. that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer Wait. that something in this room... They're all telling me to hit one. I mean, Two of them. Running from button to button. Those. Screen to screen. Clicking on every little that thing. That one. Just to these numbered buttons. No, these colored buttons. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything. Something here will save me. Yeah, I'm really really standing. That this video game can be beaten. One soul. Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? Would you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you fail. Just you and me and the wetching explosion of fire and metal yeah, over and over and over for all of eternity. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. No. And Stanley died again. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 God seconds damn it. Have left. Shut up. Oh. 30 seconds until a big move. Now we need to just you and me. Ah. Would you cling desperately to your frail life? Or would you let it go? I don't understand. I'll cling desperately to my life. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, Ah! Uh, fuck you, guy.
them down the staircase. You already did that. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot going on here with this. Yeah. Hold on. Go. What? What? There's, Wait. There's a Wait. lot going on with it. Yeah. I am drone for two click on, seven. Click, click on the keyboard. Um, I can't. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his code. We never Trying to go. Oh, go to four nineteen or four two three. I work camp. Cause it all it goes up from here. Four, two, three? What about three, four? Four, there's... <gasps> four, twenty, blaze it! Stupid. <laughs> Game of the year. No, I mean... Four, three, four. Fuck. I think that's already blocked off now. Or four, two, three. There's four... Wait, four... Four three seven. Stanley went around touching four, two, every little thing in the office. Four two three. I don't know where that's at. It's not here. Four two two. It didn't advance the story in any way. Anyways. Mm. Four three four. You're going down. At this when Stanley yeah, came, yeah, it was going up, and then it went back down. This was not the correct way to Which way did you go? And standing knew right. perfectly well. No, I haven't went through the doors yet. Stop by the right. employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Wait. Yes. Yeah, it is. This room took a right a to the um, employee lounge. Gorgeous, gorgeous I room. Go. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh. What is that? Cargo. First open door on my left? Yeah. Do it. And so yeah. he detoured okay. through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Okay. Don't go down. Don't go down? You'll die. Well, uh, yeah, I want to see. I mean, we, we have unlimited chances. Yeah. So I just want to, I want to get, like, all these different endings, you know? There's a billion of them. Yeah. Fuck yeah. God, confusion, death, space, art. There's so many endings, guys. Off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go. Um. Uh. From here, it's um. Left. Left. You sure? Oh You're... no, no, it's yeah. Like my mistake. Okay, yeah, you didn't sound too. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute? Dead! Let What's he doing? See. You went down right, left, down... Guy! Left, right. Yeah. Yep. You're in my head! Get out of my head! Uh, this story is absolutely... Woo! Where is he? Okay. I can go somewhere now. Uh, you want to do it? I don't know if that's the thing that I'm supposed to do. No? Yeah, going down that door. Okay. Keep going down. There oh. it is. Whoa! No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Start the game from the beginning. What? This time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm? Okay. From the top. Dead. What? Dead. What? You can't just do that. I was doing a thing. All right. So what so was the? the other day I was in crazy traffic and what? Do what I is going on here? Hold on, guys. What is this? Is it Twitch? No. Yeah. Yeah. Good old Twitch. You Twitch. Don't gotcha. 
<laughs> Stupid Twitch. By the way, guys, I'm thinking about doing some Twitch sometime, so, um... <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, oh, we gotta get some four or something. Four, what did I say? Four... What? Four... Four, two, three, and four, nineteen. Where the fuck are they? And four, three, four. There's four, three, four. All right, there should be a window. Yes. Or no, 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 no. Four, three, four. Should be a waiting input. No. Click, 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 click. Bam. That's four, three, five. The same, same. Yeah. No. Look at the computer on four, three, four. This is four, three, four. Click the computer. No. Nothing. Damn, no. Why does 432 just have a lamp and a pencil sharpener? Does that nigga's job is to sharpen pencils? <laughs> 437. You said 419? Yep. Yeah. I have not even seen. Look, there is no 419. There it is. 419. What about it? Don't worry about it. Keep going. What? What about the boss's assistance desk? What about it? Blood. How about just go through the door? Wait. 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 What? No. Sick. No, I restarted. That's why I definitely Where'd you go? The game. To the doors where you go through the right or left. Yes. What is something Different. Standing. Did you change anything when we were back in that room? I didn't or change you? shit, dude. Did you move the story somewhere or... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for Bruh. sure it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come stand it's here. It's an adventure. Let's find the story. Stop it. Stop it. Just looking. Why can't you go through that door with the chairs? I'm gonna go through this door. Got all crazy weird. Yeah, I'm just going, dude. I'm just going. Oh man, it's like a doctor's office in here. Dude, yes, it's so bad. So confused. Oh, oh. wait, you fucked up. Oh, yeah. Hold on. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise Everyone you knows what you did. They're just holding back to let you torture anymore. yourself. Do we just my life? Do we need to restart the game again. No! It's unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's gotta be better than this. No! Let's give it a shot, why not? No! You fuck! God dang it. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No, come back. Oh, Maybe yeah. clicking on stuff at that four whatever and four nineteen four whatever and four nineteen four two three and four nineteen. Uh, there's no doors. Do it. Okay, yeah, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. Bruh. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed it? Oh, go back the other direction. Okay. Is this bottle not ridiculously long? Yes. Wow. Yes, it is. What is that, a 750? In Russia, bottle drink you. In Soviet Russia, bottle drink you. Aha. Ah. I knew Whoa. you'd miss something. The story. Whoa. Here it comes. Blue? Yeah. It's all different. No, and I went straight. Never mind. You're going to have a drink. Okay, let's go straight the down. other way and retrace our steps. Is this the heaven one? Oh. What? Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? This looks like a serial killer's den or Is something. Is this the story or no? I, my story took place I want to know if David Attenborough is, is mm. fucking done recorded his know? voice for this game. Would you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? David Attenborough. You win! I win! I told you, heaven! Heaven, baby! It really paid off, so 
Good job. Now oh, what? So I don't feel right about this at all. What you still want? You didn't put in any actual work for that win. I won. So, win fair and square. Fuck and you, narrator. One of those situations. <coughs> 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 Just let me get that W. Take that L, bitch. Because what might happen this time, I have to restart. Damn, David Attenborough. That W. David Attenborough fudged your whole world up. I got that double. What? All right. Stanley Parable Adventure Line. We've been fucking everything up. Of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Be checking windows. Wait, that's not normally open. Do it. Four B six. I want to go in there. It's like the only one it doesn't. It has a letter in four B five, four B four. You see, the line knows where. Four question mark eight. It's over in this direction. Whoa. Onward, standing to death. Check the window right there behind you. The, this one. Window behind you. Wherever we end up, be our destination. Even if there's no story there. Or to put it another way, is the now, story of no destination? Still a story. And everything. Yeah, I'm just, so I'm just going. I'm following the line. Forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination wait, 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 go back. conjured into being by What's the hallway to the left? Oh my God! Okay, okay Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just yeah. stick with me. Now we can both I really just want to follow the line, dude. Isn't See what? Not but of one subjective experience of that existence. See now, I don't know which way. Okay. Now, if my experience yeah, is wrong, what? what? No, hold on, dude. hold on, wait. I told you to go left right there. Yeah? Alright. Now watch, it's gonna bring you back to the stairwell and make you go up. Literally. I'm going the exact opposite way of... Wait. Yeah. This is... What? I think what we need right now is a bit of... What? little music. What? Bruh! Look. Right here. Right? Once. And wouldn't you left come in? Left twice. Back to the line. Follow the line. Yeah, I'm following the fucking line, dude. Oh, that's going back the way you came, too. Is it? Yeah. Keep going. Maybe I should be... Oh, the other way. Other way. My B dog. Damn, that's loud. Let me cut that down a little bit. What are you doing, man? He's fucking with us. Lightning in the mood. Oh, my God, sir. I hate you, David Attenborough. It's not David fucking Attenborough. Well, it's only because he's not talking about animals. It can't be David Attenborough. It's not him. What? I want to walk right. on the wall. Hold on a second. I want to walk on the wall. It's getting really bad. Woo, woo, woo. You want to I want to jump. I don't wanna go so bad. What the don't fuck? Go that room. Come on, you know. Wait, what? Yeah, see? What? what does it say right there? What, right there? Yeah, that's the real question. Fucking Jesus. Jesus Christ. This this game is a lot more than I expected. Yeah, yeah see what I mean? Lie. I'm not gonna lie. This is why I said. We've got the time to make this shit up, dude. Like, <laughs> never what I thought. Right? I told you it's pretty cool. Like, I saw the demo and it was like, you know, you know, and then where me and my brother game share, I saw it and I was like, oh my god, this is gonna flip Jeff's wig, dude. Yeah, my lid's been flipped. <laughs> What's flipping your lid, big boy? I don't know if you where guys are. Fuck are we Fans going? Squidbillies or not? But uh, <laughs> there's an episode where Early Collar is uh, on the radio. Oh, right hold now. on. Shh. Okay, now what? There's an episode of Squidbillies where Early Collar is on the radio. Let me and get He's Great. like a radio personality. Uh huh. And this dude's always like, "What's flipping your lid, big boy?" And he jumps on and he's like, "Well, I'll tell you what, my damn." Sick of tire all this immigration and shit. And he just goes bananas. But it's always something. It's kind of like that episode of Family Guy where Peter Griffin has the what's grinding your gears. Oh, thing. yeah. You well, know what really grinds my gears? But dude says, what's flipping your lid, big boy? 
<laughs> and Squidbillies dude's like, well, oh, I'm sick and tired of all these immigrants taking my money. I just want my paycheck. Did you need to do this little food? Was this this? Was this this? I don't know. I was drinking ginger ale. Cranberry ginger ale. That's why it tastes orangey. It's yeah, got it's citrus in it. You might have some fucking uh, what you call it in there with the artificial sweeteners. Ew. Yeah, gross. Not yum. Super gross. Not yum at all. I don't know if you know this or not, but all it's right. super gross. Dink it. Since you won't give me your cup. Dink it, bink it, uh, drink it, sink it. Stink it, pink it. Stink it and pink it. Man, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you guys don't know her, um, what or me, but I might be a dad. My my. my oh yeah, don't don't say names, but yeah, ex girlfriend and or slash might be current girlfriend because she's got my kid in her belly. It's pregnant. DNA test to conclude that segment, but future representation accordingly. Yeah, so it's quite possible he's going to be a dab. All right. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Look. So line going that way, line going this. I'm going to follow the normal line. <coughs> like, what? Whoa, no, no, no. Just going in there. Why? Stanley? Wait, that one doesn't even have a number. And 97, 98, 99, and 2, 3, oh, 400 are like, wow, weird. Alright. Try it again. You know what, Stanley? What? They forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Let's go fight fucking lions and bears. Why don't we simply start one? Let's go like spear sharks. And like Let's go like noodling with giant catfish. With our wieners, because we have giant wieners and that's the only kind of noodling we can do is with giant catfish. At the bottom. Okay, so wait, wait. wait. Mountain, like, this didn't damn. close up. But. Oh, you did something? This. Oh, wait, this is open. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. What am I doing? He when said noodle with your waiter. I'm ready for it. Oh. He wants you to noodle him with your Wait. wiener. He said he was ready. Look. You Just a tell, big square, but watch. You, tell but watch. You, tell him what you want. And then it's a keep big going. Square. Okay. No. Yeah. And then boom. So then go back the other way. No. What? You can't go back. This isn't back. This is oh, forward. No, not you again. The adventure um, line. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. We'll say that line's a, a bit out ah, of A choice. We get to make a decision. For okay. Me, story is in our you mean I get to make how a decision? We mustn't squander the opportunity. No, he makes the decision. Have so you not realized this yet? Just walk me through. Fuck him. Minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that some going the opposite way because fuck him. It must be our reverse door that is here. And All right, now I'm gonna just go back and forth. Corresponds with that counter inverted reverse doors. Okay, now I'm strafing. So starting from the right, let's ask. We'll take you the right. Now I'm just gonna spin in circles. And since the answer is clearly yes. <laughs> the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Is it? Come, Stanley. <laughs> the door on the right, right must be the right Holy door. Uh, fuck you, dude. I want to open this one. Somebody give me a fucking crowbar. Whoa. Oh, oh, what's this? 
You've been playing the confusion ending for 16 minutes. That's what this is. It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game, what, eight, eight times? This is what we've done. Determined? Go to the end. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Or what if I don't want to forget? Or is this and all that can be done? Or what can be done for the confusion ending? More. Well, you consulted me. I, I want the, the narrator is gone. Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart. The narrator the forgets about previous it. restarts. I won't do it. I won't do it. Does that mean um, to be do it? Did we break the cycle? The um whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come right. for us? Will something happen? Wander in the blackness and find a bookstore. Get okay, bored and leave. Anywhere do anything. <laughs> what? I find a magical just replica you know, of the office that I has become in some way that that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure can you read them when it's like that? The no. I, I can read the ones that's in red. Journey and not the destination. But not so the black ones. Really Nonsense, right. philosophy, and music. Yeah. Find the line again. Adventure into unexplored territory. Ah! Yeah. We started over. He got confused. God dang it. Alright. Wait. The red. I have a message on my phone. Why can't I? Did you just crouch? Yeah, you can crouch. Why didn't you tell me that? All of this code I didn't know cool. until I was playing. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What? Are we back to this? Yeah, with crouching. They added an extra crouch. No, you. I've been crouching since I started. You told me you didn't know. Hey, when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Is it all just going to be the same again? Until you do something different. I mean, is it all just going to be Yet there was not a single person the same as the first one? Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided like to go up to his boss's office, hoping he okay. might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Go to that door. Go back. Go back. Wait. This one? What's that say? Executive bathroom. Oh. You can actually open this? Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes. If the bosses suffer losses, then that's what the boss chose. Huh. Alright, go to the computer behind the assistance desk. This computer? Can't fuck with it. No. Go to the door on the right. The double doors? Yeah. The French doors. Ooh. Hi. Oh. An elevator. Should we go up? Duh. Up. Heaven? I don't know. He's not with us anymore. We're going to heaven. This is what I do in elevators. You don't do that. You don't know that. When have you been in an elevator with me? Not once ever. Exactly. In 31 years. This is this is wow. what I... 31 years? That's how long I've been alive. You ain't 31. Four months away from being 31. In 30 years and a half. Thank you. 30 years and eight months. God damn, you're almost 31. I'm 
about to have a kid, internet. So, perhaps. Oh, there's the narrator. What an asshole. Why is it shaking so bad? Oh. Oh. What? Oh, bro. Go back in and do it again. I'm gonna go down. Nothing. Go down. You keep going up first. Go down. Do 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 do. Like, this is ridiculous. Alright. Alright, go back All right. to the park. Ah, dang it. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. Secrets, the keypad, Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's Go through the hole. Way. Oh, oh you can't. I tried. It's, it's, it's just the chair blocking it. He wouldn't even let you fucking hit the button. Nah, no, I want to hit some other buttons. You can't. Uh, oh, yes, you can. Wait. No. Zero. God damn it. What? I wanted one. God. Does it look like I'm aiming at the two? Yes. No, okay. Fuck that. All right. Moving on. Jeff? The darkness. Ugh, I hate the darkness. I hate the darkness. Oh. Is that the darkness? He used to be Spider Man. Go ahead. All right. Oh, this is as far as you can go in the darkness here. I was hoping that was like the darkness. Or you could just go straight to hell. See? That's what I'm saying. This is what I do. What? Did it normally do that? Oh, uh, I'm sure it did. Whoa. No. What? It's definitely not. Stanley walks straight ahead through the large door, the red mind control. Escape. Facility. No. Run. I'm going. Run, nigga, run. Although this passageway had the word escape Please refrain from that language. The truth was that at the end ah. of this hall. Ah, uh, I hit the shift a billion times and it did sticky keys. Sorry, guys. If you could see how hard I face palm myself, I think I gave myself two black eyes. What's it doing? And he would, and he would meet his ah. death. What did David Attenborough say? Something. The door oh. behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. I did. Point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Maybe this is gonna be neato burrito. It's not. You're gonna die. He was very, very adamant about that. Oh, baby. Yes. Straight to hell. Dude. Do 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 do. Oh. Uh -oh. 
what? Second. Farewell, oh. Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. No. That didn't happen. The Stanley parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What, what exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? What? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. This is Do you see Stanley's now? computer. Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? What? Cabinets. Oh. Office computers. Hey, solitaire. An employee database. And that weird thing we saw. Credits. <gasps> Thank you, Peter. Oh, Kevin Brighton, aka David Attenborough, is the narrator. Where? If David Attenborough does not get a fucking accreditation for this. Then I'm suing this game. This is not David Attenborough. It's Kevin Brighting. Give a shit, dude. If this dude was talking about geckos and fucking fish and shit, dude, you'd be like, that's David Attenborough. He's not on that. He's not getting that credit. That's cool. Made using source by Valve. Valve is cool. Fuck Valve. I like Valve. It's cool. Valve's the best. And so Steam. All right. Steam's a client. Valve is the giant developers. Yeah, Read it. Sorry. Warning: Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up in the battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it, it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpret it interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. So... Just wonder. Okay. Oh. What? What's that going on here? Yeah, that's not... That's where you came from. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that is. This is heaven, by the way, everybody. Is it? Yeah. Is this the heaven? Gotta be. Wait. In a previous version of the choice leading to the apartment timer or apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Cargo lift. Okay, yeah, we've seen that. Tells you everything about everything. Yeah, that's cool. I don't think I've done everything, though. Zending levers. These levers were originally part of the Zending. The player would pull the lever and the narrator would describe what color lever they had pulled. The Zending. Huh. See, I think Weird. some of this was not in the game. That's probably what you're seeing with some trailers or teasers. <coughs> yeah. The trailer dogs. What? Diggity dogs. This is to well, convey what the game is about. 
what the one that we're that that, that we were you just were watching about to watch, but you walked away from. Yep. Yes. Because I've already seen. I haven't. And maybe they haven't the, either. Well, I this mean, it's completely new to me. This is the game. Like they uh, they did trailers and teasers for people to play. Everything that we just did was in it. Plus, yeah, we did more. Like I said, when did the trailer start? I don't know. When did I find out about the game? Just a little bit ago. When do you think these people found out about the game? Some of them just a little bit ago. Like now. Exit. But it, yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Off. Why didn't you listen? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Hmm. Listen to me. You can still see things to me. You can stop the program before they both fail. We should stay and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. That just happened. Stop now. Do that. That's what she said. Are you gonna listen to that lady? Yeah. She's not the narrator. This is the story of a man named. Oh my lord. Well. All of his co-workers are gone. That's a lot, though. We'll do this again sometime. This is the most ridiculous game I've ever right. played in my life. So we're gonna go ahead and end this, and we will play this again sometime, because this is fucking crazy, and unless, there's a lot going on. Unless we go insane in the meantime. Oh, but alright. I hope you guys liked it. I hope y'all got a laugh. I hope y'all fucking got your minds blown a little bit, because I did. Congratulations to me for almost being a father. Congrats. We'll see you here in a couple months. See y'all later. Bye, dogs. See ya.